Hello and welcome to Dr. Ross Maths Key Skill video on drawing a tree diagram to represent successive independent events. Now we've got this question here. I have a bag of seven red balls and three green. I pick a ball, note the colour, replace it, so I put it back, and then pick another. Fill out the following tree diagram. Now, the purpose of a tree diagram is to show the different sequence of outcomes that might happen. Because we're taking one pick of ball, and then after we've got our one ball and put it back, we then have a second pick of ball. So a particular path through this tree diagram, starting from the left, would show us a particular sequence of outcomes. So our first pick of ball, well, we could either get red or green, so we put the red and the green at the end of these lines, the end of the branches, we say. And this represents first picking a red ball. And then we have a second pick. So if we're at this point here, that means we've picked a red ball, but then on our second pick, from here, we can then pick a red ball again, or we could pick a green ball. And then similarly, if our first pick was a green ball, then from there, we could still pick either a red ball or a green ball. So if I was to follow, say, this path down the tree, so like this, that would be picking a red ball and then followed by a green ball. If I was to follow, say, this path down the tree, that would be picking a green ball for the first pick, followed by a green ball again. Now, on the lines themselves, these branches, that's where we put the probabilities. So on our first pick, what's the probability of picking a red ball? Well, in total, there's 10 balls. There's seven red, three green. We've got 10 balls in total, so it's out of 10. And of those 10 balls, seven are red. So the probability of getting red is seven out of 10. And similarly, the probability of getting green is going to be 3 out of 10. Because out of the 10 balls, 3 are green. Now, if we're here, we've picked a red ball, we've put the ball back. So there's still 7 red balls and 3 green balls in the bag. So that means the probability of then getting red on our second pick, if we'd picked a red on the first pick, would still be 7 out of 10. It doesn't change. And that's why we're saying these two picks are independent. Independent just means they're not affected by each other. So picking a red on the first pick doesn't make it any more likely or less likely to get a red on the second pick. So these probabilities are the same. We'll deal with dependent events in a separate video where the probabilities do change. And getting a green on the second pick, given that we'd already had a red on the first pick, is still 3 tenths. And similarly here, if we picked a green, picking a red is still seven tenths because we still got seven red balls out of the ten balls in total, and it's still going to be three tenths probability of picking green. So if we put the ball back, we replace it, the probabilities on the second pick for red and green are going to stay the same as the first pick. And just remember, we put the outcomes here, red, green, at the end of the line, and on the actual line itself, that's where we put our probabilities. In the next video, we'll see how we can use this tree to calculate a sequence of probabilities.